What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. Hello guys and welcome to Canva Play. This is Goodart VA Simon. In our channel, we will teach you design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks on how to improve your Canva designs to make it more attractive and engaging for free. If this happens to be your first time coming to our channel and you want to join our community of Canva warriors, you can subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on your notifications to get updated with our latest videos. Today, we will be going to teach you how to do the money engraved effect in Canva. This is the sample that we will create. Let's now go to the blank Canva design editor. Drag an image from photos or uploads. Using the image, go to edit image and remove its background. If you are using the Pro version, you can automatically remove the background under Edit Image. If you are a free user, you can use the free alternative background removers like Remove.bg or Sticker Mule. The links for these alternatives are in the, in the description box below. If you want to have a Canva Pro account, I also put a link in the description below that will give you access to 30 trial days of Canva Pro. It's completely free and you can cancel it at any time you want. Hassle-free. Now, let's go back to the image. Using the image, go to Edit Image. Scroll down. Look for Screen. This one. See all and under Screen, find Lino and apply these settings. Lino cut should be 1.1. Manipulate the scroll to achieve the fine lines in the face. Like this, um, there is no exact amount for this because the lines depends on the pixel of the picture you use. This one. Now, I will position the image at the center to look more balanced when you're looking at the design. I will now create the money engraved effect. Add another page. And let's leave for now the image. Go to Elements. Search for Wave Wave, Stripe, Background, Line Textured, Pattern. Go to Graphics. And from here, I will use the fourth picture, this one. Duplicate it twice to make it into three elements. I will position them like this for you to see what I will do with these three elements. Okay. Now that we have aligned it perfectly, let's now apply the settings. First, let's change the color. For this one, I will now change the colors of the elements. For the first one, I will change the color to number sign 008037. Here. For the second one, I will change the color to number sign 
uh, let me delete it first. Four three five seven hundred. This one. The third one, I will change it to black. Let me find the black color here, right there. The next thing that we're gonna do is to change the position or angle of these three elements. For the first one, I will change the angle to 90 degrees. Either to the right or to the left, that's okay. For the second one, I will retain, retain the, its position as is. The third one, I will rotate it 45 degrees. Either to the right or to the left, that's totally fine. Now, let's change the transparency of these elements. For the first one, I will change it to 55. For the second one, I will retain the transparency as is. The third one, I will change the transparency to 25. After creating the look of the elements, let's now use them to create the effect. Drag the first one to the image, like this, resize it. Resize it to cover the whole page and align it properly and send to back. This is how it looks like. Let me zoom in. Now, drag the second element here. Going to the photo again, resize it. cover the whole page this is how it looks like now drag the third element going to the photo again and now cover again the whole page like this this is how it looks like let me zoom in again see how the effect changed the look of your image beautiful isn't it for the final touch let's create a background go to photos and search for retro paper sunburst background textured this one the greenish color one set it as a background now take a look at the design we made That's it! For more design inspirations, watch this! If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Simon, your good heart BA. In behalf of Godson BA, Pinky, 
thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video coming from Pinky with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys! See you in the next video!